Happy Thanksgiving everybody, iPhone for Idiots here and in this video we're going to jailbreak the new 4.2.1 firmware. Now this will jailbreak any iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad, but it is a tethered jailbreak for m most devices and I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it is untethered and it is fine, I would recommend using Red Snow for an iPhone 3G, an older iPhone 3GS or non-MC model iPod Touch second generations because those are all untethered and this is all in the notes. Um, Anyway, so let's get started. Um, oh, and one other thing is, um, just real quick, uh, oh, by the way, here's my iPhone 3G. <clears throat> um, you can see Insidia at the very top here in green, where it always is, that I have backed up my SHSH blobs, can't speak this morning, um, for all those different um, iOS versions. <clears throat> so be sure you do that and you back up before you start any new jailbreak. Okay, so simple enough to do. Um, all we have to do here is connect our iPhone. And let that open up iTunes. And then there's two things you need to download. You need to down download, which will show up here, right up here, is the uh, custom firmware. Um, and I'll have some links to those. Uh, just be sure you get the firmware for your device, iPhone 3G, 3GS, etc. And it's just an IPSW file. And um, then the other thing you need to download is the latest version of uh, Red Snow, which is just uh, right here in this box. And we'll go ahead and take it out and put it on the desktop because generally that's the way I like to do things. Okay, so iTunes is open. And where's our device? Um, so cancel, you don't want that. You want to update your device with the download we used. Um, I've already backed up, so I'm not gonna mess with any of that. <clears throat> so you just need to do a quick little, um, I think it's option restore. Um, on a PC, it's shift restore or something, but basically you just wanna get a pop-up box. So then you can find the iPhone IPSW file we just downloaded, which is right here, and you can see it's the restore for 4.2.1. You probably can't see it in the video, but it says 4.2.1, so I got the right one. Um, you just click open and restore. And you can see, I'll start restoring. Okay, so that took like 15 minutes, took slightly longer to download um, than it did to uh, restore the IPSW file, and as you can see, there we are on 4.2.1. Now we just need to jailbreak it. So we'll go ahead and minimize this, and you just need to, oh, sorry, over here in the corner, go ahead and click and run Red Snow. Um, if you've done it before, it's the same process every time. Um, da, 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 please select the corresponding IPSW for your firmware. So you can browse, find your IPSW again, select it, open, give Red Snow a minute to uh, find it. And then it'll tell you to put it in DFU mode by doing this, the home button and uh, power button at the same time. And by the way, Muscle Nerd tweeted this morning that Ultra Snow um, update should be out Monday, probably Tuesday at the latest. So um, I'd wait till then if you really need to unlock just to be sure. But the unlock's coming any day now. So uh, you're pretty much good to jailbreak. Okay, is be sure that you hold the power button and slide to power off because you don't want to hit the next step until it's connected to iTunes and um, powered off. So now that it's powered off, I can click next and then it's gonna tell me to power button, home button to get it in DFU mode. <clears throat> First thing you're gonna do is just hold the power button down for two seconds. Then you're gonna add the home button and keep holding for 10 seconds. So here we go, ready, bam. Hold the power button down for two seconds. Now I added the home button, still holding the power button. And then we're gonna release um, the power button here in one second. 
Okay, keep holding the power button, and then in a minute, it should go into a DFE mode, and if it doesn't, all I gotta do is cancel and just try again. And we should be jailbroken here in just a couple minutes. All right, jailbreak process has started, so I'm gonna go ahead and release the power button. Um, at this point, just ignore it. Um, let's see, it's 7.44. Um, my guess is it'll take six to 10 minutes, but we'll see. And you can see that'll pop up on your iPhone. Some other stuff might pop up, but just ignore it until it is completely done. And that's normal. Don't worry about that. That's good stuff happening. Oh, and by the way, that's the pineapple. It's always a good thing to see as well. Okay, so as you can see, 4.2.1. There's Cydia, it's the same iPhone 3G, USA flag, and we're good to go. So now I just need to uh, install all the apps that I had on there previously, SBS settings, etc., all the good stuff, and uh, we're good to go. Like I said, Ultra Snow supposedly is coming out Sunday, maybe Monday, not today, because even jailbreakers celebrate Thanksgiving. Happy Turkey Day.